Happy Monday guys, Vulcan here, and today we are taking a quick glance, a spotlight approach at a new game, one that hasn't released quite yet, but it caught my eye, and I think it'll be something fun once it hits the market. It's going to be going into early access into early 2019, and it's called Encased. The title is Encased, and it's being developed by some of the people behind Divinity Original Sin and Original Sin 2. Plus, Life is Futile is another title that these folks worked on. Now, Encased is a game that is extremely reminiscent of the Fallout series in terms of appearance, in terms of feel, and it takes inspiration from isometric RPGs of the 1990s and the early 2000s. The game itself features a heavy sci-fi post-apocalyptic setting to stomp around in, explore, kill stuff, you know, do whatever you want to do. It's an open world game. So what makes this game worth your time? Well, Encased is aiming to evolve the genre and improve on the golden classics of the isometric past with a variety of twists and turns along the way. The overall gist of the game, though, is that you are a participant in a project researching the technology and artifacts of a civilization that has been long since forgotten. Now, it surrounds a mysterious dome that's in the center of the desert, and it's of artificial design. It was created by something, but it's unknown how it got there, how it was constructed, or what its purpose is, kind of like the pyramids of Giza. You know, we understand kind of what they're used for, but how in the world were they able to make those pyramids. But guess what, guys? We do know a few things about the dome. One, people who enter that dome cannot leave. You go in, you step foot in the dome, you die in the dome. That is the slogan that I'm going to say because you go to the dome, you die in the dome. But don't worry because items, technology, relics, they can come and go. Trade is a bustling. You can go in, do some treasure hunting, you know, put some treasures outside the dome, make a little coin, regular stuff. But that's not all this game is about. This isn't a treasure hunting game. Remember, this is an isometric RPG. Story elements. Now, beneath that dome, beneath the earth that it rests upon, lies a massive complex, ancient ruins, underground labyrinths that hide treasures, that hide AI systems that control that entire complex. But guarding these valuable items are traps and anomalies of the dome. They're the essentially security system, if you will. An entity known as the Cronus Foundation, though, does not let that stop them. They're actually the ones that are spearheading this research and exploration of the dome. They were established in 1971 when the dome itself was discovered. Now, the inner workings and overall intent of Cronus are actually unknown to most. Even for those that work for the company within the dome are unaware of the actions of the company. They just understand that Cronus signs my paycheck and I go home. So... This is essentially a super organization that has no one to answer to. But one thing is for certain, right? This has been established. The bounty of the dome has actually gifted the Kronos Foundation with enough wealth that they can control the world's leaders and direct the global economy and directives as they see fit. World domination, guys. That is what they are on the cusp of. And do we want to let them dominate the world? Is that something we want? Well, I don't know, because I haven't played the game, but I'm assuming no. I'm assuming that's bad. But something is still amiss. There is something else in addition to this. Something is stirring beneath the sands of that dome, deep within the complex that it rests upon. And that is an AI. And this AI has awoken from its slumber, known as Maelstrom. And Maelstrom begins to follow a plan of its own. Now, in case promises that all of these things will be a constant focus while you explore the remote desert that is <laughs> encased within the dome. And the dome is unbreakable. It cannot be broken. So it's one of those things that you truly are once you go in, you stay in. But right now, you are staring down the barrel of about a 25 to 30 hour campaign, story campaign, with some serious replay potential through playing any character that you want. And you get to watch the world around you change in response to your actions. Now, after the introduction, in case is actually 100% open world. You go wherever you want. You choose where you want to go, when you want to go, with no limitations other than the loading screens between locations, which is an interesting topic, actually, because they claim that while you're traveling between locations, random events can actually occur. 
maybe like an ambush, a deal was struck, something was discovered, a treasure goblin type thing. We don't really know. We just know random events can occur. Now, this game does feature turn-based combat. The mechanics are designed to give you a large inventory of choices, freedom of action, and really kind of promote creativity in all ways uh, in your approach to combat, right? You can target key fighters, healers, weaken your foes through abilities, deal damage via the environment through explosive barrels, I'm assuming. But it accomplishes all of this through its classless system. You actually define your own playstyle with attribute points, you gear, uh, whatever gear you're equipping, and you actually learn skills whenever you want to, not according to a template. If you want to go out and learn Fireball, you go learn Fireball. It's up to you, buddy. You can learn at level 1, level 100, who knows. That is what I'm getting from this. Now, they haven't out and said either way but that's kind of what i'm pulling from it now you guys remember those twists that we talked about at the beginning remember we talked about some twists and turns they're adding well the biggest one in my opinion is the maelstrom ai it's a complicated beast this maelstrom ai and it can do just about anything it's like a genie imagine that imagine genie from aladdin just hanging out with you it can actually grant wishes for a price uh, it can interact with you and guide you either to doom or to prosperity, depending on how gullible and naive you are. But keep in mind, Maelstrom's power is bent. It has an intent to destroy the mind of intelligent beings, aka humans and more, guys. The developers have urged new players to spend their time at the border of the dome, where the AI's influence is the weakest. Before you journey into the center and... From what they say, the center is quite treacherous. Now, there's also a crime system in the game. It works as you would expect. You do bad things, you get bad titles, and eventually become a, quote, threat to humanity. <laughs> Damn. And you can be fined, imprisoned, or even executed. Executed. Game ends. Boom. Guillotine. <laughs> Done. That's it. Yeah. Death by execution. It's hardcore as hell. But you can actually get out of these things. Fines, you can do bribery. Jailbreaks to get out of the imprison. Or, how do you escape death? You survive the labyrinth of death, which sounds like a deathcore metal band. And either way, it's all part of the package, so you have something to look forward to. Now, their website currently has an example of their character creator available, so you can go through, and it is drenched in Fallout inspiration, and I just love it. It's such a well-crafted little thing they have out there. You answer eight questions with these hilarious answers, to be quite honest, and it'll place you in a wing. I got the orange wing, but this is your faction. It'll actually give you a preset stat sheet that you can change if you would like, but it gives people that are new to the game a little mm, bump, right? A little, little nudge in the right direction. But if you fill this out, you'll actually get a special helmet when the game releases, kind of their like awareness type of thing. So get out there, fill that out, see what wing you end up in, and guys, comment below what wing that you get put into. I got put in the orange wing, uh, which is hilarious because that's like the the work release wing. Like, uh, I made some bad decisions in my life, and now I'm working community service. It's exactly what that is. But So yeah, comment below. Let me know what you guys get. And let me know what you guys think about Encased. Um, this is really all we know about it so far. There isn't any gameplay. There isn't anything like that. But we do have screenshots. We do have the character creator. And I'm pretty excited to see where this thing goes and how it shapes up we should probably see a little bit more i know 2019 we're entering early access i'm assuming probably quarter three uh maybe the end of quarter two but i'm curious anyway i'm gonna wrap this one up guys it has been a pleasure and as always this has been vulcan and i will talk to you next time